In today's video, we're going to be demonstrating how to install Windows 7 from a USB flash drive. So let's get started. Now, we're not going to use any kind of VMs or a screen capture. We're going to be using real hardware today. And for this video, we'll be using the old Optiplex 7010. So we already have our USB all prepped and ready. Though, if you don't have an ISO or a DVD to create an ISO, uh, you can watch one of our previous videos highlighted here on uh, how to get your Windows ISOs from Microsoft for free, though you will need a product key as they're not pre-activated. Also, if you're not sure on how to turn that ISO into a bootable USB, uh, you can watch our video here that is a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. That being said, let's begin by putting in our USB and rebooting the computer to the boot menu. So you are going to need to know what your uh, boot menu strike key is. For us it's F12. Okay, now that we're at the boot menu, we're going to go ahead and boot from our USB. Uh, for us, we're under UEFI boot, though yours may be legacy. Uh, depending on your setup, this may take a little time, so we'll just go ahead and fast forward. So now that we're at the install, uh, this install is pretty much... Uh, very straightforward. Um, there's really no tricks or anything like that when it comes to Windows 7 install. So we'll probably fast forward through most of it, though we'll stop at areas that we feel are important. So at this point right here, uh, we're obviously not doing an upgrade. We're going to do a fresh install, so we're going to want to select custom. So as you can see, we already have some partitions on this drive. Uh, that really doesn't much matter, though if you have anything important, you really need to back it up because uh, for this method, we're going to delete all the partitions and start fresh. So we'll go ahead and highlight this uh, partition 3, select drive options, and delete it. Uh, we'll go ahead and click OK on this confirmation, and we'll just go ahead and do the same for each of the other partitions. With that complete, as you can see, our whole drive is unallocated, and for this install, we're going to go ahead and leave the whole drive as one partition, though if you need specialized partitions, now is the best time to do it, as it's much more difficult to do in Windows. But like I said, this is all we need, so we'll just go ahead and click Next, and let Windows create the partitions for us. So depending on your PC and your setup, this may take a little time, so we'll just go ahead and fast forward again. Alright, with the install now complete, Windows just needs a little bit of information to finish this off. So uh, let's start with putting in a unique username and a unique computer name. So at this part, you really don't need to put a uh, password in to complete the install, though it's always recommended. But for us, we're just going to go ahead and click on Next. So at this point, Windows is just asking for the product key, though you don't need to put it in at this point. You can actually just click on skip and put it in later after Windows is installed. So for us, that's what we're going to do. We're going to click on skip. 
at this point it's just asking about Windows Update. For us we're just going to click on Ask Me Later, though you should have Windows Update enabled. Here is just your regional settings, date, time, time zone, all looks good for us, so we'll click on Next. And there we go, Windows 7 is installed. Uh, like I said at the beginning, the install for Windows 7 is pretty straightforward. Uh, there's no real tricks or anything like that. From here, if you wanted to uh, put your product key in, all you'd have to do is click on your start menu, right click on computer, go to properties, and right at the bottom you can select change product key, and it'll bring you right up to put your product key in. Now, you'll also have to install all your drivers. Uh, Windows Update may do most of it, but you may have to install the manufacturer drivers for any graphics cards or so forth. And that's it. That's how you install Windows 7 from a USB flash drive. Knowledge is power.